Hey you guys, Steve Whipple, that's me for Whipfit, aloha, coming to you from uh, my office, uh, my den, whatever you want to call it, um, because uh, with the holidays being here and there's a lot to do, actually holidays or not, there's a lot to do as a grown up all the time, um, but if you can't get to the gym, if you have a set of weights at home, and if you don't, they're easily found, um, Target, uh, Amazon, um, just about any place, uh, any sports store, of course, will have weights, and you can get them in increments as low as one pound, two pounds, up to as heavy as you want to go. But the point of it is, if you have a set of weights at home, you can push away from your desk, and you can do a quick little full body workout right at home. You know, there are days that um, you just can't get to the gym, and it would be nice to just know that you did something physical and something for yourself. Uh, so at the end of the day, you don't go to bed feeling that way when you wanted to get to the gym and you couldn't. So um, Isabel is right over there, my great Dane. She might join us. And um, all you need is a chair, like perhaps your desk chair, and uh, a set of weights. So I have 10 pounds. So um, two sets of 10 pounds right there, all right? Um, you know, if you don't have weights too, you can always like seriously grab uh, milk car uh, containers, the, the ones with the handles. I mean, seriously, or cans, uh, there's, there's stuff you can do to improvise and uh, get some weights going. So you don't even have to spend money. Uh, so um, let's start. We're gonna do back, biceps, chest, triceps. We'll do some legs, we'll do some shoulders, and we'll do some abs. So that's a full body workout, okay? So find a nice comfortable seat. Feet are nice and flat on the floor. You know, back is nice and uh, comfortable and rested. If you have arms on your chair, that's just fine. It would probably be better if you don't because this will mirror the bench experience at a gym, all right? So let's start with biceps, all right? Grab your weights in your hands just like that. Drop your arms straight down. Weights are gonna face straight forward. Let me either back up or um, I'll pull the camera down a little bit more. You alright? Isabella is right there next to me. So grab your weights, drop them straight down by your side, roll your shoulder blades onto your back, okay? And have those weights and those palms face straight forward. Or if you want, you can bring them and have the tops of the weights, you know, the flat side. You can do that too. We're just gonna do old school bicep curls, okay? So if you want to do them that way, you can do that. If you want to have them kind of open face, you can do that too. And like right next to me is a bookcase. On the other side is my Great Dane. There's not a lot of space, but you can still, you know, in the parameters of your chair, get a nice workout in, all right? So I like to do three sets, a set of 15, a set of 12, and a set of 10. That's what I do at the gym with my clients because um, I'm a personal trainer as well. Um, and I usually increase the weight. If you don't want to do that because you have one set of weights, you can just do, you know, rounds of 25, you know, or rounds of 10, whatever you want to do. Let's do 10, all right? So, weights to the side, blah, 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 I'll kind of shut up and let's count. 10, squeeze at the top, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Nice. Rest. Weights can rest in your lap if that feels all right, or drop them back down to the floor. So what you want to do with biceps is, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. What you want is to take your arm straight down by your side, and you want to squeeze that arm up just like that, okay? So straight down, squeeze. If you want, you can, you know, you can hold your arm wherever you want, but wherever you are, you're just holding that arm, okay? So you can get a full bicep curl. You don't want anything like this. You don't want to just be moving your arms. Full arms are not moving. Arms are right by your side and you squeeze, all right? So let's do another round of 10. We'll do the weight straight forward this time, all right? So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, get ready for your final set. Have some water. 
always nice to take a sip of water too and your breaks in between your sets should be like 30 seconds 45 seconds you don't want to undo all the work that you're working on by waiting too long to let all that blood drain out of the muscle that you're working on to then have to get it all back in to make that pump which in a really long explanation made short is what helps you to make muscle all right so one more time let's do it let's do 10. Uh oh she's moving <laughs> 10, 9, 8, squeeze, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. All right, rest. So those were biceps. How you doing, Is? You all right? I wish you guys could see her. That's her nose right there. That is her nose. <laughs> She'll probably join us. All right, so bicep. A nice, easy way to do shoulders right here in your seat is to shrug it out, okay? So, I mean, you can also, I don't have a lot of room here, but you can also do like Arnold presses. Get your arms nice and straight, make a big letter T, and just take those arms straight up above your head. You can't see that, but you're, they're gonna touch right there above you. So here, up, let me drop down. I'll show you what that would look like. So it's here up here up all right so you can do those but if you're doing a lot of overhead stuff with weights or if you want something a little less aggressive on your shoulders you can do shrugs and i love shrugs because simply it's saying i don't know so sit up nice and tall in your chair let's do 10 all right 10 squeeze it at the top nine eight seven six five four three two one rest water if you want check your phone if you want because we all do that at the gym anyway i saw something on instagram that was no squatting at the texting rack <laughs> meaning you know it should be no texting at the squat rack but you know Okay, all right, round two, shrug it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, make sure you breathe too. Four, three, one. I can't count and breathe in at the same time, but it should be like, okay. So one more round. Um, for 10. All right, we'll just do it. <laughs> hope you're having good holidays. I hope it's not too busy. All right, let's do it. All right. 10, 9, arms stay straight. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Rest. So what you can also do too, and I like to do this with my clients at the gym, in between our different stuff, I will get my phone, I'll set the timer on my phone, or if we just have a clock on the wall, for one minute, you pop out of your chair and you jog in place. You can just run in place for one minute. You know, you can run around if you want. <laughs> oh, now she's up. So just one minute. Hello. There she is. Look how, look how big she is. She's ridiculously big and wonderful. So one minute, jog in place, keep that heart rate up, get a little bit of cardio, <laughs> and then when you're ready, come back down to your chair, all right? So, triceps, yeah. And if you have kids, if you have pets, you know, this is what it's like to work out at home, and you gotta push through it anyway. Just do it anyway, they'll understand. So triceps, all right? So this is where if you're doing a lot of overhead stuff with your arms, maybe some shoulder shrugs would be really nice, okay? So grab one weight, all right? For triceps, you're gonna wanna take your hands, think of pressing your hands straight up to the ceiling, like you're gonna push somebody up, okay? You want that to happen here at the edge of your weight. So I'll show you face forward, all right? Then you take that up, up and above your head, all right? Maybe I'll come down on the floor. She's gonna come and say hello, I'm certain of that. So take that like that, straight up. Keep your elbows in. What's gonna happen, because this is an awkward movement, your elbows are gonna wanna be out here, okay? 
or they're going to start here and you'll feel them start to go out to the side. Try to keep those elbows pinned straight forward, okay? So it's here and then down. 10, 9, or you can count when it comes down. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> Did I lose count? One. Down. Nice. And then bring that forward. I lose count a lot. I'm not going to lie. So this is working your triceps. Triceps are this thing right here. So bicep is in the front. And then when you twist your arm back, that little part right there that rolls over, that's your tricep. So that's what you want to be activating with this. All right. Hope you feel it. If not, there's tons of other exercises. That's a good point to bring up. If you do an exercise and you do not like it, or it, you're not feeling the benefits of it, or you physically can't do it, pick a different exercise. There's so many different exercises for every body part. All right, round two, get that uh, weight face forward, press it straight up to the ceiling. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, give yourself 30 seconds break. Let's just do it, round two. Take more of a break if you want, grab a sip of water, stuff like that. I always remind people to breathe and drink water. Just little sips, all right? Stay hydrated. Final round. 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze, Squeeze, four, three, two, one. Nice, bring that weight down, good. So we've done bicep and tricep and shoulders, all right? So let's do some chest. Chest can be tricky because a surefire chest is always push-ups, you can always do push-ups. But if you wanna use weights, I've kind of recreated a chest press machine, all right? So if you go to the gym, you've got your machine where you have a seat face forward, weights come out to the side on this side, uh, up weights come out on the side on this side, like in a bar, and then you pull those hands forward and you squeeze. So there's long ones. I should explain things in really simple terms because that's how I, that's what I need for my brain. Or, hey, <laughs> maybe we got a Christmas present, I don't know. Or bring your arms to the side as if there were pads right here and here on your forearms, and then squeeze that way, okay? Squeeze. I wouldn't do this with super heavy weights, but again, if you're just doing a nice little workout at home, trying to like do a nice, uh, easy uh, conditioning type thing, toning up, you know, this should work. Five pounds, uh, one pound up to five pounds, even up to 10, because this is 10, all right? So make that chest press action happen. Feet are nice and firm on the floor. Squeeze, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good. Okay? So when you do that, squeeze right here. Squeeze. All right, round two. Ten, nine, Six, five, two, one. Nice. All right, one more. One more round for ten. All right. Go lay down. Ten. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Do your one minute cardio if you want to do that. So we've done chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps. Let's do back, all right? So, um, how do you do back? Like when you're at home, all right? You got your chair, you're going to use your chair, all right? So, hop up out of your seat. Flip it to the side, make like a little bench area right here, 
and now we're going to divide it in half, all right? So grab one weight. Think of making your back into a nice L. So scoot your butt back. You know, you can have a little arch to your back like that. If you don't even want to use your chair, you can put one hand down on your leg. But get that back nice and flat, all right? Keep it flat. So you don't want this. You can be at an angle, but get it flat, all right? So nice and flat. One hand comes down. Drop this weight in front of you just a little bit, kind of like right underneath your shoulder when your arm comes straight down. And then you're just going to pull it back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. So switch it over. Get that out of your way if you want to do that. So it's kind of reproducing that motion of like, say, a rowing machine, yeah? These are back rows. So 10 on the other side. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Rest. 30 seconds. So another thing about working out, everybody, if you're at home, be comfortable, and it doesn't matter what it looks like. It matters what it feels like, but it doesn't matter what it looks like. So if it's not perfect, it's okay. You know, rarely is it. And sometimes with my clients, I will tell them, if you are pushing really heavy weight and you want to get it done, I, because I only do what I, I only can speak about what I do myself and I know how I do it. Sometimes when I want to get really heavy weight done, I will sacrifice form a little bit just to get that weight done. I'm not saying that's how you should do it at all. Form is super important. But the point of it is, if you want to get a heavier weight done for the satisfaction of getting that done, go ahead. If you lose a little form on it, okay. But that should not be how you do it all the time. All right, that was more than 30 seconds. So let's do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Swing it over. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thirty seconds. Resting in between. <sighs> nice work, everybody. All right, final set. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. And again, I can only speak about what I do. I forget to breathe a lot. Try not to. Try to breathe. Okay. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Set your timer. Do your one minute if you want to do that. So we got legs to do and we got abs to do. All right. So legs. Oh, <laughs> before we get to legs. So if you want like a nice kind of like area right here, um, kind of like your tricep region. Uh, a lot of women will affectionately refer to it as bat wings or something, turkey, wa waddle, wobble, whatever, whatever. Uh, <laughs> if you aren't happy with the firmness underneath your arms, grab super light weights. You should not be doing uh, this exercise with like 10, maybe not even eight. Um, I'm, I'm talking like five pounds, or less okay so get those arms open to the side kind of like what we were gonna um, do when we did our chest press this one have your weights I'll show you just to see have your weights like that and then just roll those weights forward okay here 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 these are 10 okay and I will tell you for someone who has shoulder issues that doesn't feel that great for me so that's why I would recommend like, you know, 
uh, five pounds or less. But just roll that over right there, okay? Just like that. Three sets of ten, as always, as we've been doing, all right? So we got uh, legs and we got abs to do. So let's do legs, all right? This is where you're going to lift up out of your chair a little bit, okay? So if you want to keep the chair right there, you can. I'm going to tilt this down and you're going to see Isabel right there hanging out. So we're going to do sumo squats, everybody, all right? So this is where you're going to use one weight again. So instead of holding it kind of like we did for our triceps where you press up to the ceiling, grab it underneath with both hands, all right? And think of what a sumo wrestler looks like when they're about to start, okay? Their legs aren't really close like this. They have a nice wide stance, okay? But not so wide that you're pulling your hips apart. Feet can go slightly out to the side, and you can keep your chair right there if you want. Maybe that's too low. Not a high production value on this, I will admit. So grab your weight, find your sumo stance, and you can keep the chair right here behind you, and you can just have a seat each time and just hover. If you want to get rid of the seat, have that weight come down to the floor each time, all right? So it's like this, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Nice. So a little thing about form. You want to think about keeping your knees behind your toes. So you're going to shoot yourself back. Like when you have a seat, it's not going to be this much, but you know, when you have a seat, your knees are behind your toes and you're sitting back. You want to replicate that with your sumo squat, okay? I'll show you what that looks like from the side. It gets hot in this little den really quick. Can you move your big paw? Thanks. So you want to be back, okay? So get those knees behind those toes as much as you can and sit back, all right? So let's do it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Nice. Rest 30 seconds, water if you want. Whew. All right, one more round of 10. Then we have some abs to do, and then you're done. So um, let's see, this has taken under a half an hour so far. So you can put, if you add it in the one minute, it'll probably take you little bit over half an hour, 40 minutes. Always good to stretch after as well. Stretching is your friend. So one more set of these, you guys. You ready? Let's do 10 good ones. 10, nine, eight, five, three, So I'm just going to have a seat right down here on the floor because for the abs that we're going to do, we're not going to use the chair. Although I will show you one. If you are someone who does not uh, like to get up and down off the floor or if you cannot come off and down the floor, I'll show you this one. So in your chair, sit right at the edge of your seat and then lean back. Have your shoulder blades touch the top of the chair right there, okay? The chair head, if you will. You don't want to curve it in and have your back melt against the chair. Try to keep your chest nice and lifted so it's nice and a flat line back there behind you. Plant your heels, hold on to the side of your chair. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, Abs, you can do as many as you want. That kind of breaks the rule of the count. Sometimes a 15, 12, 10. I like to do sets of 100. I do sets of four sets of 50, varying the exercises. So go for as many as you want. 
for your abs, okay? So that's in your chair. So turn to the side, I'll show you what it looks like. So there's the back of your chair. You don't want this. You don't want like a slouch. You know, if it feels better for your back, you could, but I think it's better this way. And then you squeeze your stomach, plant those heels. 10, nine, eight. You got that? Cool. <laughs> I'm glad I asked a question and say cool as if you could answer one and if I gave you any time to answer two. All right, so let's do abs. We'll end with abs, okay? So this is my new favorite and it's my favorite because I find it to be super effective. And uh, effective means it's really hard, therefore it sucks to do, okay? So you're gonna get nice and flat on the floor if my lovely assistant will let me. I'm gonna take this camera, face it down a little bit more. We're almost done, everybody, okay? So, nice and flat on the floor, lay back. Arms are gonna go right down by your side, okay? So, get your back nice and flat, heels come up, and all you're gonna do is drop those heels. The further away your legs are from you, the more intense your abs, abs will activate, okay? So, you can keep them closer to you, Stick, take them straight out, still keep a bend in your knee like a letter L, and then drop those heels. Head can stay back, but if you want a little bit more intense, raise that head up. I don't know if you can tell, but I just started shaking because it takes a lot more, okay? So, 25, 24, 23. I'll turn to the side. Show me what that looks like on the side. <laughs> if you have children, um, I, I sympathize with what it must be like to try to get your workout in at home with them right around you. So, <laughs> lay down nice and flat. All right, so head can be back on the floor. Then you lift your legs up, make a nice letter L. The closer your knees are to you, the easier it is. Take those legs further out and it becomes harder. And then just drop those heels, all right? 10, nine, I think I was at 25, but what the heck, you know what I'm trying to do here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'll swing around the other side. You can see my legs better. 30 seconds, I did not anticipate a co-host but she's my favorite co-host ever, all right? So, get down nice and flat. Head can come down. Arms right by your side. Excuse me, yes. Arms right down by your side. And then lift those legs up. I'll scoot back a little, all right? So, knees closer to you, it's a little easier. Stretch those legs out, it becomes a little harder, all right? And then it's heels, all right? Let's do 10. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. So, there you go, you guys. If you have a chair, you have a workout, okay? So, um, by no means, I'm oh, sorry, by no means was everything I did perfect. So, um, I, I try to practice what I preach. Um, I try to do, gosh, I try to do things the best that I can, but if for some reason everything is not perfect, I'm okay with that. So, uh, aloha. I hope that gives you a nice little workout. I'm sweating and, uh, continue on, do more abs, stretch, drink water, and that's it. Goodbye from <laughs> Miss Isabel and I. And uh, stay more. Uh, stay tuned for more from WhatFit. Aloha, happy holidays, new year, and all that good stuff. You guys rock. Thank you.